Hello, hello everybody. I'm here just a very quick Quilly of the Day video because I feel inspired. I'm here wearing my hat. Obviously, my hat, you know, even though it's indoors, it's actually load bearing. Otherwise, my ideas fly away and uh, we don't want that to happen. We want them to stay in the brain so that they put them into words. So, today I'm going to very quickly review uh, violet, violet candies. So, the story goes. Uh, okay, so I made this, it's uh, called Hedonium Shockwave. It's actually QRI's a second perfume <laughs> after Fearless. And there's a few more coming up. Eventually we will actually, you know, allow you to, to, to get them online. Um, but yeah, Hedonium Shockwave is essentially a, a, a perfume that I made that is really optimized for kind of like maximum powerful valence, positive valence, uh, which has violet notes in addition to honeysuckle and pear and a few proprietary <laughs> cool ideas um, and a friend of mine who maybe you actually you know have heard of uh, but I'm not gonna name him uh, when I showed it to him in the UK he actually described it as hedonium shockwave smells like the third jhana combined with cocaine it's kind of like the third jhana but like it hits you like fast and like strong but like lovingly and like I think that's a good description essentially I created a hedonium shockwave in order to really create kind of like an old factory explosion of pleasure now uh, I've shown it to a bunch of people and generally very very positive feedback but the thing that uh, kind of intrigued me was that when I showed it to people in the UK um, people actually could name some of the notes and not in the US in general so um, and that led me to realize that actually in the UK people know what violet smells like. Not in the US, not in Mexico. In general, I found that most people don't know what violet tastes or smells like, but in the UK they do. And the reason is that it's uh, over there, uh, there's like violet candy is relatively common. There's this uh, particular one, you can find it in so many, you know, convenience stores. It's, it's not a, you know, expensive or very sophisticated candy, candy or anything like that. It's uh, just uh, Parma Violet. Everybody knows about it in the UK. And uh, so I got a bunch of them <laughs> to bring back. And then uh, when I was talking about it online, people said like, no, actually there's uh, more versions of uh, Violet candy. So this is uh, Parma Violet. So, and Violet is a very beautiful. I, I really like that, Quilia. It's actually quite unique. I mean, definitely has kind of like a, a sweet, fruity component, but it has beta ionone, which has a really unique kind of softness. It's kind of in the spectrum of the softness of a rose, a rose with a lot of phenylethyl alcohol, which is kind of like the velvety, but violet is kind of like that, but in a very sweet version very very fascinating very unique and so i got a, a bunch of them um essentially there's this one it's called uh leon violetta casa fondata i guess is the the the, <laughs> the company and uh it comes in kind of like little pellets it's a very different concept uh the the taste is actually and the the, the retro nasal smell <laughs> which is how we actually get a lot of the subtleties of flavor uh, is actually still the smell which is retro nasally through the mouth <laughs> it goes up very weird <laughs> um, but the texture so the texture really is kind of like um, a power law of um, kind of like uh, uh, sugar crystals and so it's not I think like the best expression of the violet state space the thing is that you know okay um, Violet itself really has kind of like two main, 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 main facets uh, and effects. These two essential oils actually capture it very, very well. So this one, I guess it's uh, Sanbuza is the brand, and this one as well. Green's leaves, violet. Uh, this one is a very good one because it exactly blends the two, which is beta ionone, this kind of like sweet softness, and then also a powdery component. Now, you may recognize powdery quilia from, uh, let's say, like talc or cedarwood, uh, turmeric, uh, even pear sometimes has kind of like a powdery component. 
And violet in general, um, violet perfumes, violet smells, have a powdery and kind of a beta ionone soft sweet uh, facet. And, um, you know, this one definitely has the beta ionone facet, but the powdery facet is not really expressed. It's really something else. It's kind of this power love, you know, sizes of uh, sugar crystals. So it's not as good. It's not as kind of like expressing the violet vibe. Then there's also um, Chowards, uh, violet candy. Uh, the problem with this one is the texture is not very good. The 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 scent, the retronasal scent is very good, um, but it's just too hard, and it's also missing the powdery element. Now I was gonna show you too. This essential oil, for example, seven souls. I mean, it's a beautiful smell, but this is just the beta ionone. Well, also. There's also this um, related smell, it's called um, violet leaf. It's very common in men's colognes, as opposed to violet flower, very common in women's perfumes. This one is a very, very beautiful smell, but it completely, completely lacks the powdery, powdery axis. And this particular essential oil, um, I don't know what's going on here. This one is called pure gold essential oils. This doesn't smell like violet at all. I don't know what the, I don't even believe it's violet. This it smells more like kind of a fruit salad with a <laughs> grapefruit or something. I don't know. Not violet. This is not violet. I've also encountered like a, a good number of uh, fragrance oils actually are not violet at all, even though they say they're violet. I'm very confused by that. Maybe you can get away with it in the US, but probably not in the UK. Oh, and finally, we have um, the French... What is it called? The French Mint, Le Anise de Flavigny, or something like that. So these ones come in these very beautiful, yeah, I mean, the form factor is quite stunning. It's kind of like these little beautiful little eggs of sugar. I'm gonna get diabetes, I guess, <laughs> eating so much violet candy, but at least it's like a very interesting quality. Um, I'm gonna say that overall experience, this one is the best. Um, you know, it's very, very, you know, the actual experience of it kind of like dissolves very slowly. And the texture is extremely smooth and soft. Well, yeah, kind of like, you know, at least it's a little bit the, <laughs> the beta ionone attack decay sustain release envelope, which is very, very soft. And it ends with a tiny, tiny seed of anise at the very end. Um, Anise is also present in here, which is not native to, uh, to Violet, although it goes pretty well together. So uh, let's revise. In terms of overall experience, I'm going to say this one is the best. But in terms of the maximum expression of the, you know, qualia dimension of Violet, I've got to say the cheap and widely available Parma Violets is the best. Um, then I would say this one um, because of its very interesting texture. And finally, uh, the one I didn't like that much is uh, Choose Violets. And uh, yeah, that concludes this very brief quilly of the day, Violet Candy. All right, take everybody, infinite bliss.